Hi everyone. So today we'll be having another example on identifying the classification of the soil using the USCS method or the Unified Soil Classification System. The reference for this example is the Fundamentals of Geotechnical Engineering by Das and Siva Kugan. The results of the particle size analysis are as follows. The percent passing through the number 10 sieve is equivalent to 100. The percentage passing the number 40 sieve is 80. The percent passing through the number 200 sieve is 58. We are also given a liquid limit and plasticity index of the minus number 40 fraction of the soil, which are 30 and 10 respectively. So with this given data, we will classify the soil by giving its group symbol and group name. So to do that, we have to use some table and figure from the reference material, which are given in this slide. So the first step to determine the group symbol is to identify whether the soil is fine grain soils or coarse grain soil by looking at the percentage that passed the number 200 sieve. And here we are given a percentage of 58 and to categorize the soil if fine grain or coarse grain we have to check the passing number 200 whether it is more than 50 percent or less than 50 percent so if that is 50 percent or more like here the soil is 50 percent or more that pass the number 200 the soil is classified as fine grain soil so since we are given 58%, which is greater than 50%. Therefore, the soil is classified as fine grained. In this case, we will be using this part of the table given in the reference material and also follow the process of elimination from left to right. So the second column will Second column shows us the boundary of the liquid limit, which is uh, the 50% value. So if the liquid limit is less than 50, 50 or more than 50, then we have to follow the process here. So in our case, the liquid limit value is 30. And this is less than 50. And we consider this part of the table. And the soil could be inorganic or organic. But in our case, it is not specified that it is organic. So we assume that it is an inorganic material. Otherwise, if there are uh, information specifying that it is organic, then you have to consider organic. So we now go to this part of the table wherein the PI value has to be considered and the plasticity chart here has to be used. We have to check our plasticity index value. The plasticity index value is given to be 10 and this is greater than 7. So we now look at the this portion of the table, if it will satisfy both condition, our plasticity index is 10, which is greater than 7. So we satisfy this condition. Does it plot on or above a line? So we consider this uh, plasticity chart and plot the given information here. Our, the liquid limit is given to be 30. Okay, and the plasticity index of 10. So this is the data point and 
it plots in the area of CL or low plasticity or low liquid limit clay. So it plots, it satisfies both conditions. So we say that the group symbol is CL. Then the next thing we do is to identify the group name. So for the group name, we have to use another graph from the reference material. So we look for the CL information here, and then we do again a process of elimination. The next information that we have to satisfy is the percentage that is retained on the number 200 sieve. So the percentage retained in number 200 is equivalent to 100 minus 58%, which is 42%. Therefore, we are in this in data, we're in the percentage Laplace number 200 is greater than 30%. So we now proceed to this portion and identify if the percentage sand is greater than the percentage gravel or less than the percentage gravel. So to do that, we have to determine the percentage gravel. In this case, since 100% uh, pass the number 4 sieve, that means that the percentage gravel is 0. Nothing is retained on the number 4 sieve because number 100 sieve is, uh, number 10 sieve, uh, there is a passing percentage of 100%. While the percentage sand is equivalent to, of course, 100 minus 58, and there is a zero gravel, so this is still 42%. So which means that the percentage sand is greater than the percentage of gravel. And we now consider this information here. The percentage sand is greater than the percentage gravel. So these two data here, we have to identify now the percentage gravel if it is less than or greater than 15 and as we calculated the percentage gravel is zero so it is less than 15 hence we have this data here that will indicate the group name of our given soil, which is sandy lean clay. So therefore, the group name is sandy lean clay. And the group symbol again is CL. So this is the final answer. for the soil classification using the USCS method.